Hey everyone, we've got another Lightroom tutorial. We have an image sent into us to edit again. And yeah, as you can see, there's a bit of a fade in those shadows and blacks, but the shadows are kept really warm still and the highlights are kept a bit more cool. So her links will be down in the description for you guys to go give her a follow. And yeah, we are gonna be trying to recreate this edit right here. So let's get into Lightroom and see what we can do. Here we have the final image from Instagram and the unedited photo here. So first thing I'm gonna do is bring up the warmth quite a bit. And a little bit of contrast. It's quite a flat image, so there's not a lot of contrast in there. So the tone curve is also going to be quite flat. Bring up the shadows a little. So I'm just going to put a little bit of fade in those darker areas. And as you can see, bring down these shadows a bit. Then just take an edge off those whites from being so bright. Just a little bit. Okay, so on to color. So you want to desaturate some of these yellows and greens. And the trickiest bit here, we have a lot of greens, but as you can see, uh, yellow will also affect the greens a lot. So you've got the greens and the yellows affecting the greens a lot in the image. So it gets quite tricky knowing which one to move. So we're going to start with, and we've got to deepen these oranges down here. So I'm going to do that by shifting the oranges a bit more towards the reds. And before I actually do most of these colors, I'm going to do the split toning. And if you look closely into the shadows, you can see it's very warm. And we've already added quite a bit of warmth in up here. But I'm going to do possibly the rest in the split toning. So as you can see, warm in the shadows. So pick a red, maybe an orange, and put quite a bit in there. But as you can see, we look too warm and doesn't look natural really. So what you want to do is put the opposite color in the highlights and that will balance out the color contrast. As you can see there, that looks a bit more natural than what we're after. So going back to deepening these oranges, 
uh, luminance, the brightness of colors will really do that. So dropping them. I'm going to come back up to hue. Yellows almost affect the whole image. So greens, the greens look quite warm in this image, but we've already made them very warm by shifting the yellows. So I'm thinking I might make these greens a bit more on the blue side because I can see a bit of blue in these greens and the whole image is really warm. And we've got warm greens, but if I make them any warmer here, it's just gonna look way too warm. So I'm gonna move the greens a bit more towards the blue and then that will make them look a little more towards a natural green. Uh, the water, so we've got some greeny teal, teal colors. Bump up the saturation so I can actually see a difference in the colors I'm shifting. drop these oranges quite a bit and then I'm gonna drop the greens down a lot So maybe it was the yellows that de I should desaturate a lot. But if you look at areas such as this bit, this bit is definitely yellow. And the slider yellow affects that a lot more. So I think to keep that yellow patch, we have to keep the yellows about negative 25. And then when we desaturate our greens, we still have that yellow bit. So it can be tricky when green and yellow are both affecting the greens. But they sli will slightly affect them differently. Blues. Um, luminance. So I'm going to... Drop the shining, the shininess off those yellows a bit. So it's quite bright in this area here. And if we move the, it seems to be quite bright in those areas where the greens are affected. I'm gonna give them a bit of a bump. Uh, for the blues it looks like there is quite a bit of a shine on the water and we're struggling to get enough color in our pool so if I drop the luminance get a bit more color in there Um, split turning looks good. Just a bit of grain in there. Sharpening.
And I think we're looking pretty good. I might just play around blacks. I think we're looking pretty good. I'm just going to leave it there, guys. So pretty close, before and after. And yeah, make sure you go give her a follow down in the description, guys, and give myself a follow. And make sure you comment down below who you guys want to see because I'm struggling finding um, people to send in photos for me to do a tutorial on. So comment them down below. I'll reach out to them and hopefully do a tutorial on them. And yeah, thanks for watching guys, and I'll be catching you guys in the next one.